How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another review, or I guess I'm calling these point and shoot reviews, but today taking a look at the 1985 mask vehicle Gator with driver Dusty Hayes here. This is Dusty's first vehicle and his most iconic vehicle. We see this um, numerous times in the original mask series, but he does have a couple of other vehicles. Um, one of them being Billboard Blast from the racing series, which I guess is technically a vehicle, but it's kind of strange. And then he gets one in the split second series, which is Afterburner, which is a cool looking dragster. But Gator here, not bad as far as, um, let's, let's remove Dusty out of the way. Not bad as a vehicle as far as being show accurate. Um, represents the what we see on screen fairly well in both modes too. I will admit though, I didn't like this toy as a kid because of the fact that it transforms into a boat it limited the playability for me. Um, you know, you always had to be like having it to be on water and all that type of stuff. And friends never wanted to incorporate that and all that. I mean, I guess I had douchebag friends maybe, but it's all good. But I do like the vehicle as far as the overall look. Kenner did a great job, I think, um, incorporating little realistic details. Um, you get the nice rubber tires and you actually... Uh, get some detail as far as the tread and the overall look. You got the Goodyear stamp on the side, which is nice. You got the nice chrome uh, wheels, some stickers on top, chrome front end. Molded detail is nice as far as like some windshield wipers, the seats there, even to the floorboard. Dashboard, really nothing going on except for the sticker there. Rolls nicely, you have to mention that. You do have some other accessory pieces that it comes with. You got the roll bar here, which acts as a means of keeping the depth charge in place, which is really cool. And then you can just rotate it around and it becomes the atom blaster. It just clips on to that piece right there. Take a close look at it. Pretty plain Jane, but there you go. Looks more like a shotgun to me, maybe. But. And then you have the depth charge here, which is all chromed out. I do like the fact that you can utilize the depth charge in either vehicle mode by just tapping on that and it launches it out. That's nice. All right, before I transform Gator into its attack mode, take a quick look at Dusty here. And I've said it in my other mask reviews, I really do like the amount of detail put into such a small figure. Um, being a two and three quarter inch scale figure, Kenner did a good job. I mean, you can see the face there. Yes, he doesn't have painted eyes, but I think it, it's okay. I like the, um, the corresponding uniform to the attack vehicle being a water-based vehicle. So he's going to look more like that, a nice little you know, aquatic suit and all that. Like the silver paint there on the red, blues, a nice little molded in painted silver knife there. As far as articulation, his head is on a swivel, so it rotates all the way around 360 degrees. Same with his arms. His legs can go forward to about there, and then can only go back so far. It is hindered by the sculpt of his butt cheek there. And then you do have a 90 degree bend at the knee, which I think is all you need for such a small figure. You do have peg holes on the bottom of his feet, which some vehicles have um, that you can utilize that on some vehicles. As far as his mask, backlash, not too bad. This is the same mask they use in the racing series for Billboard Blast, which is called Vacuum. And you got some nice details some blues again, I love the fact that it, you know, corresponds to the water vehicle with the look here. Now, Kenner did re-release these figures and they um, changed up the mask to be more, um, more, I guess, kid friendly to be safe and all that. So they enlarged the mask, as you can see here, and they also cut holes in the mask everywhere. So to prevent choking. Or at least they can still have an airwave. But I think it looks kind of dumb. But 
Better to be safe than sorry, I guess. But you can see that there is differences in the mass. You can see kind of the blue there on the bottom. And then even onto the back. So my camera focus, but yeah, you can see it there. All right. Let's bring Gator back in here. And uh, before I transform it into its attack mode, there was a line that came out in the mid 90s called Vortec. And it's kind of a, yeah, I wouldn't say it's a spin off of Mask, but they took a lot of cues um, and tried to, I think, bring back that kind of nostalgic feel. But this is the kind of equivalent to Gator in the Vortex line, which is called Rattler, as you can kind of see there. It's got the same transformation gimmick and such, but which I'll showcase here in a second. All right. To transform Gator into boat mode, I guess, there's these little black knobs on each side of the vehicle. It's a spring-loaded gimmick, so you're just going to pull back and you're just going to launch the boat. Hopefully it works. There we go. So, not too bad. And again, pretty show accurate as far as the look of the boat here. It was a two-seater in the show. You got the two-seater here. You got some nice chrome for the exhaust. Again, this is a this is a rubber um, pliable piece there. You got the freeze cannon. You got the mass logo on either side. And then you got a sticker on the back. And again, you still have the depth charge launcher. So and uh bring in this guy again get him out of the way because it's not a really good solid gimmick but that launches out the same way it's a it's an ass ugly looking <laughs> vehicle though so all right enough of that and then to just stick it back in you can see that you have this entire groove you got this kind of mechanism or this little plastic piece which is going to make it stop put it in put the top piece of the Jeep back down and then you got it back in its original mode so there we go that's it for my look at Gator here um, really cool piece I do recommend it it's I don't think it's too expensive I think it's one of the cheaper um, mass vehicles out there to be honest with you and it is part of the original team so I do recommend it and it, I mean it looks good you can't go wrong with mass toys. So, so I guess that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. I really do appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned for more. Check out Plastic Fanatics every Saturday, uh, 10.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, be sure to like and subscribe, I guess. I can throw that out there. And um, take care, and I will talk to everyone later.